Hi, this is Heather from Strings and Threads. Welcome and thank you so much for being here. I've been calling Sunday so far this year Scrubby Sunday because I'm making a dishcloth every week. The reason why I wanted to do that is because I kind of wanted to work up my knitting skills and making dis dishcloths is a simple thing to, like it's a good way to start uh, building up your knitting skills. But along the way, I found a lot of crocheted dishcloths that I really like too. So I'm trying to alternate weeks. I might not always alternate weeks. I'll let it be my choice. Uh, this is just a chance for me to be able to throw in knitting and to work up my skills for knitting because I'd love to work up to the point where I could knit a sweater. So soon I'm going to have to challenge myself a little bit more, maybe look into those intermediate knitting dishcloths so I can kind of work up some of the things or force myself to figure out some of those stitches that have been a little bit difficult for me and that I've been putting off trying to work on. So now's the chance. I'm going to try and start that from here on out to try and challenge myself to harder knitted patterns. So the week one of March, I did a knitted dishcloth and it was the basket weave dishcloth. And then week two, I did a crochet dishcloth and it's the avocado. It's so cute. Avocado dishcloth. This center part is uh, nice and textured too for scrubbing. If you're going to do that. I think I said this last week, whenever I uh, suggest about using these dishcloths. I always have comments saying, oh no, I would never use those because they're too decorative. If you were to use them, the middle of the avocado is nice and textured and would scrub dishes nicely. The third week I did a knitted pattern and this was made with XXL cotton. And so it's nice and chunky. And I really, really like this, this dishcloth. I like the way it turned out. It's nice and textured and thick. And I think it would do a really, really nice job scrubbing those dishes. So that's the knitted one. And then this week I did a pattern. It's a crocheted pattern called Sunny Day Dishcloth. And I thought this was really pretty too. And this one worked up so fast. It was simple. There's a nice, I don't know if you can see it too well in the video, but there are posts that come out from the center and then it has kind of like a frilly edge but this would clean dishes nicely as well because of all of the posts I, i'm having trouble telling if you can see those posts in the video but i thought this was really pretty if you are interested in trying any of those patterns, patterns yourself, they were all free patterns, the knitted and the crocheted ones, they were all free. And I'm listing them in my description. So you can just look in my description to get the patterns for yourself. So now, since it's the last Sunday of the month, I'm going to do a giveaway for the four dishcloths. So if you're interested in being in a drawing for the dishcloths, First of all, you have to be 18 and you need to know that YouTube is not affiliated with this giveaway. I bought all the materials. I made everything myself. Uh, any other legal mumbo jumbo, you know, you, you need to be aware of. Uh, I will ship it anywhere that can be shipped to worldwide. What the way it work, my giveaways work, because I, I get so nervous about scammers and people trying to put weird things in my comments. I figure it's easier for you if you email me, my email is in the description below, email me your name and address, and then for the subject line for the email, just put dishcloth. That way I'll know that that's for the drawing for the dishcloth. And on this coming Tuesday, let me check the date on that. Alexa, what's the date of this coming Tuesday? March 28th falls on a Tuesday. March twenty eighth. March 28th will be the drawing. I'll, I will do the drawing this coming Tuesday in two days. Uh, so if you were interested, good luck. I have done two giveaways already. There was a January win, winner and a February winter, winner. Yeah, it was winter, but <laughs> winner. And I will continue doing that each month this year. So if you're interested, 
please send me an email and then Tuesday, I as the emails come in, I'll put everybody's name in order of the the way the emails came in. And then uh, I will have my device pick a random number between one and however many people entered the drawing. So good luck. Thank you for visiting today. And I hope you have a great day. Bye.